Today we're checking out the new Redmi Pad SE by Xiaomi. This is their new affordable or entry level tablet at just over $200, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. <laughs> It's got an 11 inch IPS LCD display with 90 hertz refresh rate, 400 nits brightness with 1200 by 1920 resolution. Comes with a Snapdragon 680 processor. You can choose between four, six or eight gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. Software wise comes with Android 13, MIUI Pad 14. You can also expand the storage with a micro SD card. The cameras on here, you've got an eight megapixel wide angle lens on the back 5 megapixel ultra wide on the front this one also has four speakers two on each side and yes this one even has a headphone jack has an 8000 milliamp hour battery only 10 watts charging though it's got two speakers on each side with dolby atmos and it comes in several colors lavender purple graphite gray and the one shown here is mint green inside the box you've got your micro sd card removal tool quick start guide safety and warranty information USB-C to USB-A charging cable and your USB-A wall adapter. Okay, really nice aluminum build quality on here. Very light color on the back. Sort of reminds me of what you would see on the iPad Air 5. Actually looks a lot better than I was expecting. Pretty large looking camera there on the back as you can see. Micro SD card slot and volume rocker there on the right hand side. You've got the power button and then two speakers on top and bottom along with your charging port and headphone jack as well. Doesn't look like you've got any pogo pens or anything like that to use for a keyboard but obviously you can use this with any bluetooth keyboard. Fairly slim bezels all the way around and then you've got your front facing camera there on the long edge in the center. When setting the tablet up you do have face unlock and then pattern pin or password for the screen lock. It also starts out with gesture navigation, but obviously you can change that in the settings. Okay, pretty nice wallpaper on here. You can see the software in here is going to be very similar to the regular Redmi Pad and other Xiaomi Pads like the 6 and 6 Pro that just came out recently. You'll notice it puts all the apps right there on the home screen. Some of the parts are actually very similar to an iPad. You've got a dock down here at the bottom, control center over here on the right where you can adjust the screen brightness, volume, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You've got airplane mode, screenshot, auto brightness, screen record, lock screen, mute, lock orientation. You've also got your Adobe Atmos, floating windows, nearby share, dark mode. And then if you hit the little pencil up here, you can add three more, focus mode, bedtime mode, and storage. Left of the home screen, you got the Google Discover newsfeed. If you tap and hold on the home screen, you can adjust the layout and wallpapers, widgets, that kind of stuff. If you hit the little settings here, you can even go into more and change your system navigation over to buttons. You can also choose to use the app drawer. So when you're on the home screen and you swipe up, you've got access to all of your apps that way. Currently it's using about 21 gigabytes of storage. Overall, I like what Xiaomi does with their software. Almost a mix between iPads and Android. It just makes it a little bit different from some of the others out there. As you can see, they don't put a lot of extra apps on here, mainly the ones from Google and a few extras from Xiaomi. Nice thing is this one is Wide Vinyl 1, so you can watch apps like Netflix in full HD playback resolution, YouTube videos up to 1080p resolution. I'm kind of surprised at how good the screen looks on here. Some of the other budget options out there are using TFT LCD displays and they just don't look as good as the IPS displays like the one on here. Now just looking at the Geekbench scores, they're pretty much what you would expect for a tablet in this category. Not going to be the fastest or most powerful tablet out there, but surprisingly still feels fairly smooth for the most part. As long as you're just doing mostly basic day-to-day -day stuff on here, I don't think there's going to be a problem with performance. It also seems to play PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 without too much issue. Even though it has lower graphic and frame rate settings, sure it's not going to look the best compared to more high-end tablets you'll also notice some of the jagged edges around things as far as graphics go but still fairly smooth and i didn't have any issues during my testing i also ran my typical battery drain test at 100 screen brightness and this one lasted almost as long as the regular redmi pad at just over eight hours which is a little above average compared to other tablets i've tested so plenty to get you through a day or two with mixed usage even longer if you turn the screen brightness down 
Now, the speakers on here, definitely not the loudest out there, but for a tablet in this category, I feel like they sound plenty loud enough. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what they sound like. In the camera app, you've got a few different options down here at the bottom, like a timer, tilt shift, watermark, AI camera, grid lines, auto HDR, aspect ratio. You've got short video, night, photo, video, and you've also got documents as well if you need to scan something. And it shoots up to 1080p resolution for video recording on the front and back cameras. Picture quality actually looks really good on here, especially for a budget tablet. So of course, that's in my studio lighting. Here's a few samples of photo and video, just to give you an idea of what to expect on the Redmi Pad SE. Okay, so the photo quality, definitely a lot better if you have good lighting. Video quality leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. Definitely seems darker than what it looks like in real life. But again, that's sort of to be expected for a tablet in this category. You could probably still use it for Zoom meetings or video conference calls. Just make sure that you have really good lighting. So yeah, this might be a good budget option for some out there. Although to me, it seems a little too close to the regular Redmi Pad. It just seems a little confusing to me. I know I've got at least a couple other tablets, which may be close to what you get with this one. So we'll have to see which is the better option. So you'll want to look out for those upcoming videos. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.